Hello everybody, welcome back to another Tuesday Talk. Thanks for everyone for joining us today. Okay, so the last few weeks we have, we initially started and we told you how we got to go in full time. In the last two episodes we've been talking about our businesses before our reselling business. Right. And that's a cat. Yeah. If you hear that, last time it was a dog, so the cat, you know, he got a little jealous. He felt like he needed to make his presence known. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> okay, anyway, <laughs> so today we want to start talking about how we got into reselling more in depth and how we started. And then also, this is what you really want to stay tuned for. Yeah, so today is the big announcement from eBay on the promoted listings. So we will touch on that, kind of give our thoughts and kind of discuss how we're going to handle that. So definitely want to make sure you stay tuned um, towards the, well, about half the video or so, we'll start talking about that. So right. today we want to just start by talking about our resale business. Now, like I said, we've already talked about the microgreen business yep. and our drop shipping. shipping. And so once we realized that drop shipping was just not in the cards for yeah, us. It's not going to work. I don't even know. Like I, I remember distinctly putting the bag of things together for Goodwill because that's just what we did. If y'all have Goodwills around you, then you might do the same yeah. thing. Donate mm. your things, right? Put it in the bag, put it in the car for several months, and then finally take it over there. That's right. And actually, was the van <laughs> in the vehicle? No, it was no. in the house. Okay, I can't remember. <laughs> it might have been. So, but I don't, I don't even really remember what made you. I don't know. I think I came across something on, I don't know, because we had an eBay account yeah, for... Did. Um, yeah, actually, the drop shipping business, I think. Is that what it was for? I mean, we sold yeah, a few things str- on yeah, eBay. It was very few. So I had an eBay account. We knew what it yeah. was and everything. But I think I came across something on Poshmark, which I had never heard of before. But it was like, look how easy it is to list clothing. I was like, I have a bag sitting over here. <laughs> you did. Oh, let's see what we can do with that. Well, because I remember you're even like, do you care? And I'm like, oh, no. I mean, we're going to donate it for, you yeah. know, whatever tax right off that is yeah. but anyway so you decided to do it so i just found the bag and whatever couple things she had in there literally laid them on the floor and mm-hmm. took a picture and was like well let's see what let's see how this goes i don't even remember how long it took for something to sell like i don't remember if don't, it was immediate or i feel like it was pretty quick because i mean I, it would have had to have been for you to keep interest yeah in like, okay. if it didn't sell i would have moved on to something else i'm sure But just keep in mind, and the reason we do these videos is because your knowledge of eBay was, I mean, not very much, right? Like when it comes to reselling. Like you had a base knowledge, but it was very small like when it came to... Yeah, it was definitely not running a business of any sort. I mean, I used eBay back in the day when it was like money orders and stuff like that. So I was not doing this for a business. There's a big difference between even in my mind, now that I've seen all the inner workings of using eBay to... You have a few things around the house you want to sell versus really making it a business and understanding right. how eBay works and what it does. And that's why we're going to talk about the promoted listings here in a little bit, but yep. really understanding that platform. And then Poshmark, I mean, you had to learn that completely. Yeah, that was something completely new. So we started from scratch on that one. And they operate differently too. I mean, it's... They do, yeah. There's, I mean, the whole sharing and social aspect of Poshmark, which is is what it is, but... Completely we've, different. It is. And we've kind of talked about, so with our reselling business, we started with a bag of clothes. No out-of-pocket yep. expenses. Um, we started on eBay. And I don't even know initially if you, like what kind of fees you had to pay, if any. I mean, our store had like, I don't even know how many listings could you, have, you even list in the beginning. Well, when we started out, we could only do five, which I think <laughs> is how they still do it. So you can only do five, and then you have to wait till one sells, and it has to get to the customer and get positive feedback, and then... Maybe they'll up it to 10 and start growing from there. It takes a while. And I mean, we've been at this for four years and I still want to say, ew, boy. If you've ever seen Wreck-It Ralph, you know what I'm talking about. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) It's a kid's movie. It's not like I'm getting anything from it, but. That's funny. So anyway, on our eBay store. So we, Poshmark and eBay were our primary focus essentially when it came to that. But then you also, and for a little while, we did sell on. On Amazon. Yes. That is a whole other. That. You know, beast, is that what you Yeah. Mean? Well, you have to feed the beast. Yeah. So that's a whole different thing. He's hungry. Whole different thing. <laughs> <laughs> we, yep. We'll have to do like a whole video on our palettes that we got. We've gotten different kinds of palettes that we sold on Amazon. Well, we got the palettes to sell things on Amazon. Yep. So that was, yeah, I think I've got a video out on the book palettes that we've done, but we've done okay. some other stuff too that we'll we've not ever talked about. 
No, and it, I mean, it's an eye opener when you start thinking, oh, it's going to be really simple. And it also is regional. So depending upon where you live mm -hmm. can mean a lot of things for you. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder, and it's there's still secrets to unlock in this arena that we all have to come across, but definitely that was a learning experience. Yeah. And the hardest thing too is on eBay, you can basically sell anything. Yeah. Amazon, you are so locked down on what you can sell mm -hmm. and brands you can sell that, yeah, it's different. <laughs> You still have so. to be careful. I guess this is almost turning more into an eBay conversation. Maybe that's what we should call this is <laughs> yeah. selling on eBay um, with conversation. But eBay, you definitely have a lot more options. We really like eBay. Amazon was, what's the term, gated? Like you get, yeah, it was gated. gated. Yeah. A lot of things were gated in. So yeah. that's difficult. You have to be able to get ungated. And then to know what might sell and how yeah. to find those items and... Yeah. How to get good deals. So we can talk about that one in a different video. That's a whole other yes. rabbit trail we can go down. Absolutely. But our focus is how we got started into the eBay Poshmark reselling. Was It was literally a bag of clothes. So, yep. you know, if you've got things around, family members, garage sales, things like that, you can find a way to get clothing. There's different sourcing options and opportunities that you can do. And... You find a way, you put it out there, you learn the different tricks for each platform. Yep, you understand definitely. how they work, right? Yeah. And I say always start in your house. There's going to be things you can sell around the house. And you want to get it for free if you don't know the platform because I guarantee you're going to lose money on something. That's just how it goes. Especially shipping. And if we're talking eBay, there's a hundred different ways to ship it, different methods, boxes and bags and sizes and... So there's definitely some things you got to learn there. So essentially what we're trying to tell you is we started very, very small and we have built our business from literally the ground up yep. and Absolutely. we're continuing to do that. One of the big things for us is we really wanted to make sure we didn't overextend ourselves and we grew it the right way. It's kind of almost like, you know, sometimes even losing weight, right? Like it's a, it's a process. It's not immediate. Slow and steady, right? This is definitely not a get rich quick scheme. No. Mm -mm. I mean, four years into it, it's been a while takes a lot of hard work, but if you're dedicated, you want to do it, you know, just make sure you're, you're wise and you spend your money wisely and you, you really do grow it at a steady pace. Yep. So that's kind of essentially how we really got into our reselling business. We'll have other videos that talk about our Amazon experience, the things that we sold, our pallets. <laughs> he already has, like you said, a whole video on the book pallets, right? Yeah, we have a little bit of, well, I don't know, it's several months old, but I have a video on the, uh, four pallets of books that I bought. You should check it out. That took up a lot of space in the garage. It did. Yeah. And pallets of books is a whole lot different than going and picking books that you can sell. Mm -hmm. So. In your video, did you talk about how you figured out what books to pick up? Like when you looked for them, like you went and looked for them? I don't know. Okay. Well, something we'll have to think yeah, about. Yeah, we'll have to. To check that out. Yeah, we'll check it out. We'll see if we can revamp that. So it really kind of just gets you up to date though. This was our <clears> business <throat> that we're currently doing. There's been little rabbit trails is that what you said to chase that yeah. we've done trying to figure out what sector or what area we prefer because there's all kinds of different things you can really focus on yeah not everyone wants to do clothing um, some people just like hard goods some people like jewelry or uh, another one we've done was media mm. dvds videos that's a whole nother good old thing. barter joe yes barter joe <laughs> Yes, we used to buy, I used to buy thousands upon thousands of videos, movies, DVDs, and that was a whole area that we went down. Y'all just do a quick little, which is all the things we talk about. I'm like, oh yeah, remember yeah, that? Write that down. Write that. <laughs> okay, let's move on. The stuff you're really here for. So eBay promoted listings. I think they're necessary. They came out with that a while back. You can pay an extra fee to promote your listings. That way it can be seen above other people. Well, they came out either last night or today and the minimum you have to do is 2% now. Before you could do one, one and a half, up to whatever they recommend. I guess you could do 100% if you want, but. Wow. But the minimum now is 2%. So the big question is, what does that mean for us? Yeah. And what does that mean for everyone else? Whether you do promoted listings or if you're gonna start using it, you have to go two percent now mm -hmm. so some of these things you have to think about when it you talk about the fees and everything that you're gonna have to pay so some people might not be as well informed or they might be saying well what do you mean what is a promoted listing what is it like 
you've kind of already touched base, but maybe what is that fee? Like, what are you paying? 2% of what? That's a good point. So whenever you sell an item, the price of the item itself plus any shipping, eBay will charge you whatever that percentage is that you've agreed to pay when that item sells. So promoting it gets put at the top of search results. So when somebody searches for an item, if you promoted it, they'll put that up towards the top. So if somebody clicks on it, they have, I think, I don't know, I want to say 30 days or something to go purchase it and then you'll get charged that fee. So let's say you have an item listed for $15 and it ships for $5. So you're in it right. for 20 bucks with shipping and the cost of the item. Yep. And you do a 10% promoted listing, which means you're going to give eBay two bucks, two dollars. Yeah. So if you do 2%, then you're only going to give them what? 20 cents on that sale. Yeah. So, but everyone is now going to have to do a minimum of 2%. So there's that many more people kind of in the mix and is that going to push your items down to the bottom? Do you promote everything you have? Do you only promote certain things? Do you raise the promotion? And right, because it's less money in your pocket. It right? is. Like right. when you got to think about it, because you're already going to pay eBay fees, right? I mean, it's not free, so no, like, you're going to pay. It's free to list, but it's right. not free to sell. No, that's the catch. It's free yeah. to list, but it's not free to sell. So you're going to pay fees to sell the item, right. and then now you're wanting to promote it, which I do think is necessary. I really do. It is because eBay gives us all these tools to use and to grow so if you don't take advantage of those yeah. personally i don't think they show your items it's the whole algorithm and mm -hmm. everything that feeds into it where your items show up so right, i think like everything is an algorithm yeah exactly Sorry. so i think you have to use the tools they give you so you have to use promoted listings that's just my opinion i know not everyone agrees with me but it works for us i mean we've we do a flat fee across mm -hmm. the board for every item and we don't pay much and not everything sells on a promoted listing. No, but I do so, think that it's a really good way, especially absolutely. when you are getting going and you don't have like a store that has, a, you know, 20,000 things and you're not selling maybe just hand over fist yet. You're really trying to get into, not really a game, but you know what I mean? You're getting, getting into it. I right. think it's something that can really help you out. I think it's worth it. Yeah. It's going to make you stand out. It's going to make you shine above those other people that don't offer some of those things. So we're going to have to figure this out for ourselves too, but yeah. So then what do you do with the, the cost of it? I mean, if we go 2% to three, 4%, you're going to double the fee that you pay, but on, you know, on a $20 item, you're only talking 20 cents, yeah. not that big a deal. You just absorb the cost, you pass it on, raise your prices. Right, things to consider. So you go, Absolutely. okay, well now I'm gonna pay, instead of listing this item for $12, I'm gonna list it for 13. But, you know, what if somebody makes you an offer? Does that affect, well, no, I gotta rebut because I really, and I'm in it for this. It could just change your amount of what you're in it for if people right. sometimes use that phrase, so. Yeah, and then if you raise the price on things, maybe that's, pricing you out of the market for that mm -hmm. item and then it's not going to get seen or no one's going to yeah. buy it because somebody else does have it for lower cost. And that is one thing that can sometimes work against you because other stores with bigger inventory who are selling yeah. hand over fist can afford to give up some extra money on that side. It's, I mean, it's marketing. You're paying for marketing, right? Yeah. Like and the cost for marketing has gone up. <laughs> exactly. Just like everything else, it goes up. So yeah. where do you fit that in? You know, but you know, um, gas prices go up. What do you do? You keep buying gas, right? Like, yeah. well, I should say most of us keep buying gas. So essentially it's a cost of doing business, you know? Right, exactly. So, and then that's why when you start out, get stuff around the house, you're not in it for yeah. anything. So if it costs you less, you know, or you get less profit out of it, then you're still winning. And you know, like for us, when it wasn't full time, that was definitely something we probably been, would have been able to do even more. You know, you just have to look at where you're at with your business and what's right for you. Mm -hmm. But we definitely believe in the promoted listing and it's something we'll be evaluating. Yeah, absolutely. We're definitely going to use them. We still use them and have been. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of do we raise the percentage that we use? Do yeah. we just write it off as that's what it's going to cost? Or I don't know yet. I know. Still new information we got to process. We're processing it. We'll let you know, you know, what we figure out, but we're going to have to take some time to think about yeah, it. I think. I think so. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us again on our Tuesday Talks. We appreciate y'all being here as always. Like, subscribe, and hit up the, the uh, comments down below. Let us know if you're using promoted listings, thoughts on it. Yeah. If you have thoughts, bad. we love feedback. We value you guys' comments, opinions. So you have any questions, want to leave us a little comment, please feel free to do so. Yeah, absolutely. As always, we look forward to joining you next week. Yep. See you next Tuesday. Thanks.